so we're uh, leaving Southport and just had a nice few quiet days at Southport moving stuff backwards and forwards <laughs> from the house and yeah yeah so I think I need a holiday now. <laughs> uh, now we're on our way to Windermere um, never been there before no Windermere caravan and camping no camping and caravaning club oh, reef <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So we're on our way to Windermere Caravan. No. No. Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site. I think it ought to be called Caravan and Camping Club. Yeah, you've renamed it. We've never been there before. And uh, looking forward to that. We're going to stop off at Burton and Kendall. Thank you. Your brain's not with you today, is it? No, I left my brain back at Southport, <laughs> so it could be a bit difficult this drive. So you better tell me which way we to go. go. Yeah, well, I've got Mrs. Satnag to do that. Yeah, well, that's a relief, isn't it? Yeah, she's got the Camping and Caravanning Club POI yep. file open, isn't she, at Windermere. So yep. hopefully she knows the way. At the roundabout, take the second. There you are. There you are. Yeah, so it's up, up the M6 basically, isn't it? And uh, Yeah, round press and up the M6, out, off of the A590, which we normally come off at for me, Thought Bell. Yeah. And then follow what Mrs. Satnag says. Okay. Okay? Yep, all right, well, so we'll catch you later. We stopped at Burton in Kendall, incidentally, just for a quick uh, lunch break. And I just thought I'd show you the setup we've got here. Been using the phone, Jenny's iPhone, and that's linked up via Bluetooth. Been listening to the greatest hits radio, it's been quite good. I've got the sat nav stuck on the windscreen with the original windscreen sucker cup because it was, oh, come here, you get in, because it was too low sitting in the well there, so it sits on there, and I think I can probably just unclip the uh, sat nav to take it off there when I'm not using it. So I think that works quite well. And uh, the only other thing is I've got the GoPro stuck up there. I was putting it underneath there, but I think it was a little bit too low and it got the uh, sat nav in the shot, so couldn't do it. So your arriving footage will be seen on that. So I thought just to let you know. So <laughs> Jenny's Thank just- some sandwiches, but I don't want to keep rustling things. So, so you're not recording. rustling, so yeah. she doesn't want to rustle things. Yeah. And Poppy's had, had had hers, Yeah. so she's quite happy. Yeah. And uh, people have asked us... <coughs> You've had it. People have asked us before how we travel, uh, how Poppy travels rather than to <laughs> how we travel. How do you travel then, Pops? Hey, where do you go? So what we've been doing is we've been putting the table down and it traps the crate in position so it can't move so that actually works really well i think i also said uh, in the last video that the door doesn't have central locking well it does but the problem was the problem was that these two little connectors here were dirty so i just cleaned it up with a, a tissue and that fixed it and the central locking works on this door as well now Got her eye on the cheese. At the roundabout, take the first exit to A590. Immediately after the turning for crook, I think. That's right. Just so be prepared to suddenly turn left yeah. at sign after the crook turn off. Yeah, so we still want the A591. So 
So it's not so there. So not there, and carry on towards Windermere. And there'll be another turn off to Crook, and then we turn left. And that's probably Ashes Lane, like she says. So that's the Crook turn off, so we don't okay. take that. Sign, the brown yeah, sign. Brown sign. Says it's quite a sharp turn. Are we waiting because we're early? Yeah, we're, it's 12.59 right now. Is it? No. Is it here then? Yeah. Quite a narrow lane, isn't it? I think it's, I had Googled In it. Half a mile, arrive at Winterbeer Camping and Caravaning Club site on the left. Okay. And it seemed to have passing places, I don't know how big. Right. Like here. Like here. See the site now. It's a pretty little lane. Arriving at Windermere Camping and Caravaning Club site on the left. Complete with the Whistling Pig pub. Got the chairs out, so you should straight in there, aren't you? I think she prefers it when we haven't got things like an awning or anything around us. Yeah, yeah. She likes the open doors and outdoors. Yeah. So worry about that. Is that going to start flapping? Then yeah. she'll be in. Well, the weather is. Uh, it's getting hot. Yeah, it's lovely here, isn't it? Yeah. View over there. Yeah. I think we're there. Oh, right in the corner. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So there's water behind us, isn't there? Yeah. Just there. Yeah. yeah that's and right. there's dog, another pitch dog there. Dog walk over there. Yeah. So I'm sure that's where we are. Yeah. We're on what they call the mound. Yeah. Yeah. And there are there's some ready, ready camp areas. Right. I've got the awning out. I'm going to go for a ride. This is such a big site. I'm really, well, good for walk around it. But let's have a look. in a bit. sink, three higher sinks. Right, so chemical disposal. Chemical disposal. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. That's chemical disposal. Back of the dishwashing area. Don't bring cassette toilets into the dishwashing area. Not a good idea.
Mm -hmm. Okay. Backpacker facilities there. Another facility block here. Washing up here. Chemical disposal here. Nice little storage area, I think. Oh, there's some pictures up here, well. Wow. Oh. That's the place to go for a view, wow. Well. from waste. Well, yeah. I'll find my way back now. Ah, oh, found my time waste point. Just there. I don't think I'm going to be um, doing much uploads here. Download is 7 and upload is 0.75. Oh. It's like its own little world, isn't it? Yeah. A little river down there. Yeah. Yeah. Whistling Pig Bar by Northern Monkey Inns. 
afternoon. What day are we on today? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. It's a double look. Yeah, there's a great walk just outside the campsite. Uh, corner of the field, you can walk up the lane. I think it goes all the way to Staveley. And, uh, it's a bit late in the evening to walk that way. I think it's about five miles, but it looks fantastic out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Brilliant. I think Windermere's down there somewhere. I might be wrong. Yeah, what a view. So how much did the site cost? It's 61.28 and that's for two nights. That's it's not a bank bad. holiday though, yeah. isn't it? Oh, well, I mean, it's not bad, no, is it? Th about thirty pounds these days. Something a night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's absolutely chucking it down. It's the f next day today. It's um, Monday, isn't it? Bank holiday Monday. Yeah. And hence the rain, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The ro roads are all flooded, so we decided to uh, make this video, and then we're moving on to Moffat tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. Um, I had a little cycle round, as you'll have seen uh, yesterday, and it's just such a. Well, it's a. It's a bit of a warren this site, isn't mm, it? Lots of little mm. roads going off everywhere. And I got myself a bit lost at one point. There's two toilet blocks here, two amenity blocks. And uh, there is a washing machine uh, um, in at least that one. I don't know about the other one. No, it's only in, in that one over there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't get in there because it was a woman sort of a washing out. Washing out. So <laughs> I could have gone and helped, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no. I don't think there's any <clears throat> like family rooms or anything like that. There is an information point, and that's uh, back near reception. Is there a so. shop in reception? Because um, we didn't actually go in, did no, we? No, no, they, they don't. No. You don't normally go in reception. It doesn't no. seem to be that much in reception. I didn't think there was much of a much in the way of provisions there. Probably ought to have a look on the um, little leaflet thing, but I didn't see anything. It doesn't sound here, does it? Where's it gone? This is just, oh, this is for Windermere, isn't it? Uh, just about, don't kill yourself with carbon monoxide. I mean, the one thing about this site is there are lots of other things here, aren't there? There's a ready camp. There's holiday homes. Yeah, holiday homes, and there were a couple of those little... Um, glamping pods. Glamping pods, weren't yeah. there? Or ready, the tent ready, field. ready camp, or whatever they're called. Yeah, no, yeah. the ready camp is the... They're like the big tent like. Oh, things. is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But they've also got glamping pods and they've also got a tent. Well, it's field. an enormous site. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder you got lost. Well, yeah. There's a whole area. It's a wonder I came back, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. 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 I think I can't see that there's a shop. No. No. No, I don't think so. So they met us at the gate and they showed us to the pitch, didn't they? Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. I found the motorhome service point. Mm. I think there is only one of those. I yeah, think. that's in front of the other amenity block, which, which is, is near all the holiday homes. Yeah, and up there, that way. That way. Yeah. Uh, found the dog walk. The dog walk's fabulous. Um, it takes you up into the lane, and you can see over the hills and everything. And I think if you carry on walking, you end up at Staveley. I think Stavely, it is. Staveley, yeah. Staveley, yeah. And you can carry on then another three, four miles into Windermere itself. Yeah. yeah. So if you're keen, a keen walker, so it's definitely worth a walk that way. Um, I've always asked, is it wheelchair friendly? I honestly don't think the, the roads make it wheelchair friendly. No, they're a little bit rough, aren't the, they? The roads are a bit rough. Yeah. There's water points dotted all over the site. And the biggest drawback I always find with camping and caravanning club sites is that the rubbish bins are always the other side 
of the pit of the uh, site, no matter which side of the site you're on, <laughs> they're about three miles away. Yeah, they tend to just have one big bin area, don't yeah. they? Mind you, the other clubs tend to do that That's, as well. They start trialling it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So not my favourite aspect of it. Um, mobile strength, I think, is pretty pretty poor, really. Well, I don't know. I mean, for downloads, yeah. um, it seems to be. I haven't had any problems on either of them. I think Vodafone slightly. Yeah. Stronger than EE, but right. it's uploading, isn't it? You found yeah. not very good. Yeah, well, I'm not going to bother uploading anything here. It was like point two or something on the, <laughs> on, EE, on EE. and Especially uh, with the rain as well. Point seven on, on uh, Vodafone, so it wasn't much better. They, uh, one thing they did give us was a really nice map. Yeah. Taking a picture of it. And uh, with points of interest, I mean, some of them we've already been to and we've already made videos of. Obviously there's Windermere itself, yep. there's Ambleside. Then really the only English heritage one in this sort of media area is um, number four, which is the Bobbin Mill. Oh, the Bobbin never, Mill, yeah. Yeah, we've never found open, have we? We've no. We've been that way no. before. But no, it sort of like lists all of them in, in the wider Lake District area. Yeah, we're right, we're bang between Kendall and Windermere here, really. Yes. It? That's where we are. So it's on the east side of the Southern Lakes. Mm. We've been to Kendall before, haven't we? We made yeah. a video at Ke of Kendall and yeah. Kendall Castle. Yeah, and we've been down, I th think we've been down to Ambleside, haven't we? Yeah, quite a few times, yeah. yeah it's, nice. it's, it, it's, it's a lovely area. just wish we yeah. had a bit more time. Perhaps, to, uh, perhaps we'll come back here and spend a bit more time here. Well, Grassmere um, we've been to as well. Yeah. That was when when we were in the previous 75 4 I yeah. went to Buttermere in it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we have there are lots of we ought to do a Lake District playlist really. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there are quite a few videos that we've made yeah. various places, castles. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's about it. We're off up to Moffat tomorrow. Mm. Uh, another one of our favourite sites. Uh, I haven't been there for at least six months. No. Well, it's, it's handy, isn't it? Yeah. One of those sites that's on the M74, and if you're coming, going to Scotland, coming back to Scotland, it's a great stop off, particularly in a motorhome, because yeah, yeah. you're so close to the town. Yeah. yeah. And I do need to get some diesel. They gave us half a tank, yeah. um, but I will need to fill it up. It's doing about 27 miles to the gallon. Which so is, yeah, very is normal, isn't and it? And it was a really good drive up here, really enjoyed it. Oh, automatic makes it so much easier. Mm. Yeah, really enjoying that. Yeah. Uh, anything I need to pick up from the previous video? I... Um, I mean, a lot of people have kindly pointed out that if you clean those contacts on the habitation door, your yeah, no, that central worked. locking would work. Yeah, which is really I happen to see a reply to Peter Vaughan's review okay. where someone said there, you know, try yeah. cleaning the contact points because he'd, he'd pointed out that central locking didn't no. appear to work on this door. So you've now cleaned it just with some kitchen towel and yeah, I, I we've did, got central locking. Yeah, I did mention that when we were at Burton and Kendall, but I'll let you mention it again. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to take some credit for seeing for the answer it. the other day. Yeah, well, you take the credit for that. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um, uh, That's about it, I think. I think it's about it. Yes, a couple of people of us asked us about payload, usual sort of questions. I did... Um, do an estimate of what everything weighed and I did a spreadsheet and I was within about 50 kilos of the payload limit when I did my spreadsheet uh, so um, I think I'm, I'm not overweight but the problem with this motorhome is payload as a lot of people will point out it's not a huge payload no so hence we didn't bring the awning no no I think if we brought the awning we probably definitely would have been over you brought, brought your lighter bike yeah Bought the smaller bike. Yeah. And uh, and most, a lot of the things that are in the garage are bulky things like the aqua roll, which doesn't weigh a lot, and the um, waste master and sort of boxes and things like that. That would have weighed a little bit more if you'd remembered your handles, wouldn't it? <laughs> I forgot my handles. <laughs> <laughs> I had to borrow someone's yeah, handles someone to fill up kindly water. lent you some yesterday, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, because <sighs> we didn't know where the service <laughs> point was. Right, no. on that. Very organised, no. So I've started, started this video being extremely forgetful. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
So you do, you deserve a rest today, really, don't you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. then. Okay then. So we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah. Bye then. Bye then. <laughs>